Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Bricks in 5, where I discuss LEGO content in videos of around 5 minutes. Uh, well, today it's time for another weekly LEGO review. Um, since I've started doing them weekly, uh, this is actually my 20th set review in a row, so we'll see how long I can keep doing these. Um, I don't know, you'll have to let me know if you enjoy them. But uh, we're going to review something I never anticipated actually reviewing. This is one of the Animal Crossing sets that just came out, I believe, at the, in it, at the beginning of March. Uh, this is Bunny's Outdoor Activities. Um, the reason I have this is we had actually purchased this to give to my friend's daughter as a gift. Uh, but for various reasons, we ended up uh, not doing that. And so rather than return it, I thought, you know what, maybe I'll review this. We'll see what the big deal is. Um, but in full disclosure, I will tell you, I have never played Animal Crossing. I know basically nothing about it other than it's little animals and, you know, some sort of game. But um, I thought we could go ahead and review it and see what we think, and we'll go from there. Starting off with the build experience, this set contains 164 pieces and is listed as a 6 plus for the recommended ages. So as would be expected, the build was not very complex or technical. That being said, I surprisingly found it more interesting than I thought it would be. There is one part of the building experience I will call out as I found it rather odd. On step 16, it has you place a rod and a box on the tools. However, after step 47, it then has you remove the rod and the box and put it in a different spot of the building and shows a play feature. Then the buildings continue. I have never seen this before, so I just thought it was odd. But overall, I would have to say I was satisfied with the build experience. Now for the details or Easter eggs. This set actually is not a bad looking set for representing a cartoon style video game. And there's actually a few Easter eggs that even I, as someone not familiar with the gameplay, found interesting. For instance, there's a hidden coin box underneath the rock and hidden pieces inside the top of the tree. So overall, I would have to say I found the details and Easter eggs quite interesting and satisfying. Now as for the displayability or playability, this set is clearly designed for play. And I think that it's something I could see providing a young fan of Animal Crossing lots of hours of entertainment. There are a few features, such as the hidden coins mentioned earlier or the function to jump the river. However, one of the best features might be the modular aspect of this set, which allows it to be configured in various ways. Now, for someone like me who isn't familiar with the game, especially as an adult, I see it probably holding much less interest. But overall, I would say that for the target market, I would think that it would find it to be much more satisfying. As for the minifigures, this set contains one, and it's a figure of Bunny. The figure has a new molded head, and a torso which has a nice sweater print on both the front and the back, while the legs, they are just red with no print. Overall though, I think the figure is about what you would expect. Now as far as the uniqueness, I think for me the most unique thing about this set is the modular nature of the sections that make up the build. I think that it is great as it can lead to more options for creative play while keeping those core parts intact for younger builders. And that brings us to the last individual category, the value. This set retails for $20 US, and honestly, that seems like a pretty fair value in my opinion. However, like many themes created by LEGO, I think the perception of value will also be tied to how well people identify with the subject matter. The last point I will bring up is recently we've seen with many recent LEGO sets, after a short period of time, they tend to go on a frequent, if not permanent, discount of around 20%. So unless you're someone that really needs to have this early, I would probably say show a little patience and you might save some money. All right, so now it's just time for my final thoughts. Uh, you may wonder why I picked this set, as I mentioned, you know, I wasn't planning on doing it. Um, I figured with it being Easter weekend and this being Bunny's outdoor activity that it might fit. But um, I have to say overall, I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised with this set. Um, I thought it was just gonna be a basic build with not many features. But, um, you know, I can see some of the playability. Um, it, it's a little better than I expected, honestly. You know, so I could see this being something good for you know, that target market, probably a younger child is, is who I would see, you know, this really identifying with. But, you know, there certainly are, you know, going to be other people that may enjoy that. But, um, yeah, overall, I would have to say I'm pretty pleased. Um, it's not certainly anything I'm probably going to add to my city. Um, you know, maybe I'll just part it out. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'll end up doing with it. But, um, you know, for the right person, it could be the right set, I guess is what I would say. So, um, I'd like to thank myself for providing this paid copy of the uh, Lego set for review. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Jason's Bricks and Five, and happy building.